Hi, Isabel. Hi. How are you feeling? I'm, I'm good. Welcome to the office. Thank you for coming in today. I'm going to go ahead and grab your chart. I believe we have you scheduled for your women's annual health exam today, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I was going over a couple things, and it looks like you had just a little bit of anxiety about your visit today, which is totally understandable. Mm -hmm. So to make it more comfortable for you, I went ahead and had you answer most of the preliminary assessment questions on the patient portal. That way it's a little more private. Um, so I do just have a couple very brief questions that I will ask you now before we get started with the examination and you can just answer yes or no for all of them. You don't have to go into full detail, okay? Okay. So just want to confirm that your name is Isabel, mm -hmm. 25 years old. Yes. And you're here for a women's annual health exam. Yes. Perfect. Okay, so I have your current relationship status as married. Mm -hmm. Okay, and your current birth control method is the birth control shot? Yes. Okay. And you are not pregnant. We got your urine sample back as well as your lab, so mm -hmm. you definitely are not pregnant, which you didn't think there was a chance that you were, so that's fine. And there are no known hormonal imbalances, either new or old, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, and you put in your chart that you didn't have any abnormal symptoms happening today. This is just like a general wellness checkup. Yes. Okay. Perfect. So no vaginal discharge, abnormal nipple discharge, anything like that. Mm -hmm. Right. And you said you do your breast exams at home and you didn't find any lumps, bumps, anything, mm -hmm. anything concerning. Perfect. And then I do just want to confirm, we ask everyone, mm -hmm. your home environment is safe. You feel safe going home today. Mm -hmm. Nothing yes. is abusive happening in your household. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Okay, well, let's go ahead and get started with the examination. The first thing I want to do is check your vital signs just to make mm -hmm. sure everything is okay. So I am just going to put on a pair of gloves. ahead and get started. I'm just going to pull this over and I'll start by checking your temperature. So I just have a temperature gun here and I'm just going to point this at a couple different spots of your forehead to make sure we're getting a consistent reading. Perfect. I do also just want to check down by your thyroid. It's a little bit warmer but not particularly abnormal. Okay, I'm getting a little bit of a warmer reading on this side, but it's only by one or two digits, so that's okay. So I will go ahead and check your blood pressure. I am gonna check it manually today just to make sure we get an accurate reading. your arm here. Make sure your legs are not crossed. Just going to clip this here. Placing this directly on the artery. And you're going to fill it pump up. Just try to relax and breathe normally, okay?
had 118 over 78. Well within normal limits, so that is great. I'll go ahead and take this off of you now. Okay, my blood pressure cuff is new, so the Velcro is very strong. ahead and put this away and we can move on to the next portion of the examination. Excuse me when I just notate that all of that was within normal limits. So your average temperature was about 98.1. So what I'm going to do next, Isabel, is do a little bit of a diagnostic check of your lymph nodes. So you have several lymph nodes that run along your jawline, the sides of your ears, along your clavicle, as well as under your arms. And I'm just going to palpate and feel around with my fingers to make sure that there's no swelling or any signs of infection in those areas, okay? okay. So is it alright if I go ahead and kind of touch your face? Mm -hmm. okay. My hands are a little cold, I apologize. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to start behind the ear and you let me know if any of this causes you any extreme discomfort or pain, okay? This one underneath the jawline. Good. Just feeling along the neck as well. behind your ear for just a second so I can do a little bit of a better temperature check in this area just because it was slightly warmer. Okay, it does feel a little bit warmer but it's not swollen or red. It doesn't look distended at all so I think it might just be a little bit of a temperature anomaly. Okay. So I am going to go ahead and feel for the lymph nodes in your axillary area. So that's underneath your arms. So I will have you just kind of relax your arm here. You can go ahead and put your weight in my hand. side as well so just relax the weight there you go your arm for me so if it's all right with you we will go ahead and move on to the next portion of the examination and for this part of the exam, I would like you to lay down if you're okay with that. Mm -hmm. So I will have a seat here and I'd like you to lay with your head facing me to start, okay? Wait, so go ahead and lay down, head here. Perfect. That's good. That's perfect. Are you comfortable like that? Yep. Okay. So this is going to allow me to further check your lymph nodes as well as move on to the breast portion of the examination, okay? Well, do you want me to remove my eyeglasses? You can, absolutely. Do you want me to set them down for you? Or are you okay? Oh, sure, okay. please, thank you. Of course, I'll set them on my table here. So we can go ahead and proceed with this portion of the examination. And I'll just have you relax. I'm gonna be feeling again around your neck. 
make sure I'm not missing anything. And I do also have just a little light that I'll be using to better visualize the area. So we need to zoom down normalities. Everything appears to be pretty well within normal limits. So what I'm going to do while I have you laying here is just undo your gown just a little and pull it below the line of the clavicle and have a better look at your chest. Just going to fold this in a little bit. Look at this area along your collarbone. Again, looking for any abnormal signs of swelling, any possible inflammation in your nerves. Now, those usually are not palpable, so if there are any that we can feel, usually that means there is some sort of infection happening, so not feeling any of that now. I'm just going to use my light to have a look at the overall skin integrity. Okay. Complexion is clear. There is nothing that's indicating any sort of infection or abnormality in the epidermis. Okay. I'm just going to do a palpation of your thyroid. If I could have you tilt your head up and back, you're going to feel me palpate around the front of your neck. Let me know if this is uncomfortable at all. Just like that, I'm just going to perform a couple precautions along the collarbone here. Pain or tenderness upon percussion here. All of that feels okay. Good. Good. Just percussing along the breastbone and the chest wall here. I'm seeing for any abnormalities of auscultation, but I'm not feeling anything. Again, with my stethoscope, and just have a listen to your heart. So you're gonna feel a cold stethoscope on your chest, okay? Sounds are normal. There's no signs of murmur or any abnormality in rhythm or rate. Both are within normal limits. Okay. 
that sounds very healthy. Okay, so I'm just going to place the bell of my stethoscope right along your carotid on both sides. Good. Good. Okay, so no abnormalities with that. All of that sounds great. And right with you we will go ahead and move on to just a bit of a scalp exam so I'm not going to disturb your hair too much I just want to have a very brief look mostly at the hairline and I'm just looking for any more obvious abnormalities any signs of dandruff or dermatitis anything that would indicate a need for a medicated shampoo or even steroid injection of the scalp but Hair appears healthy. I'm not seeing anything obvious. Hair is well groomed and doesn't appear to be over processed. Scalp itself looks good. No signs of redness or discoloration, there's no abnormal darkening of the skin, skin color is normal for age and ethnicity, hair texture is thick and straight, thank you, so I just have a little comb here and I'm just going to use this to very gently manipulate the front of the hairline. Just looking for any signs of excess hair loss or any damage to the follicle. Any signs or symptoms of folliculitis, which I don't appear to be seeing so far. So I'm just going to brush a very small portion of your hair in its entirety. And I'm just checking the integrity of the hair itself. Checking the strength of the hair shaft as well as looking for any signs of excess hair loss. I'm just going to apply a very gentle pressure to the scalp. Is that painful at all? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Just checking the integrity of the hair follicle. Good. All of that appears to be normal. Good. Okay. So while I have you laying down, I'm going to have a very brief look at the hair on your eyebrows because that could also indicate some thyroid irregularities. If there's any abnormal signs of pattern alopecia, but I'm not noticing anything here. As well as this side, it appears healthy. Hair distribution is even. Good. Just keep your eyes closed while we have a little bit of your eyelashes. And just looking at the structural integrity. And they appear to be healthy. Your lashes are thick and long. Not noticing any abnormality in the eyelid itself, no signs of infestation. Okay, very good. And skin complexion is even. Very normal signs of skin damage. Nothing I think would warrant a trip to the dermatologist. I think you are doing fairly well. Thank you. Okay, so what I'm going to do while I have you here is just check for some very brief sensory abnormalities. And the reason that we test this during a women's health exam 
is because sometimes signs of sensation loss or sensory abnormalities can indicate um, either a neurological deficit or more commonly in women, an abnormality with your thyroid. So hormonal imbalances and imbalances with your thyroid can have negative effects on your sensation. So what I'm gonna do is a very brief sensory test on your chest and face. And you can just nod and let me know that you do feel a positive indication. So this is a very soft, wispy tool. And if you feel this anywhere in your upper body region, I want you to just gently nod your head that you feel it okay. And just testing your ability to feel very soft textures insofar of indicating a normal response. Good. Also looking at the reaction of your eyelids and you do appear to see a normal reaction here. And you're able to feel this in your hairline as well, correct? Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. So moving on to a very similar so this is even softer and slightly less densely packed. Are you able to feel this okay? There's no change in sensation as I move away from your clavicle towards your shoulder, correct? Mm -hmm. And on this side, should be having bilaterally equal sensation on both sides. So this here should feel the same as this, as well as here and here. As well as on your face, all of this should feel the same. And on the center should feel the same. Perfect. So just looking again for that muscle response, which is normal. Okay. We have two tools left, and this one is even softer than the last. So we're doing kind of a graded system here. So this is level three. And again, just indicate whether or not this feels equal on both sides. Perfect, as well as here, that can be a little ticklish. And looking for that normal response of the eyes, perfect. And of course along the hairline you should be able to feel all of this, as well as in the ears that might tickle slightly. Perfect, okay. You're doing great, so we're going to move on to the very last one. And this one is quite difficult, but are you able to feel anything here? Mm. Just barely. So all of this feel about the same as all of this here. Good. And just gently along the neck. Feels about the same as here. And of course the ears. Good. And good. And of course the hairline. And just gently grazing the eyelashes. Perfect. Okay. Alright, Isabel, your sensory components appear to be intact. I didn't notice any abnormalities or signs of dysfunction. So that is great. So I'm going to take just a measuring tool and this is a curved ruler that's going to help me assess for symmetry. So just looking for symmetry from one side of your clavicle here to the other and looking to see that the endpoints meet in the middle here which is about midline to your nose which is normal. Flip the ruler and make sure that this also lines up with the center of the chin, which it does. Perfect. Okay. All right, Isabel. So what I would like to do now is move on to a breast exam. So what that's going to involve is me manually palpating around your breast, and I'm just checking for any signs of abnormalities, any abnormally fibrous tissue, any lumps or bumps, abnormal bruising any inversion of the nipple or abnormal textures, that kind of thing, okay? 
We are not pregnant or breastfeeding, so there should be no signs of lactation. So we will also be looking for that, as well as stimulating the nipple and looking for a normal response there, okay? So you just go ahead and relax. Um, I don't want this to be uncomfortable for you. If at any point this is painful or you are just uncomfortable and don't like it, please just let me know and we will stop, okay? So I'm gonna start by going on top of your gown and then I will let you know when I do place my head underneath, okay? Mm -hmm. I did just wanna do a brief palpation on top of the gown here, just getting a sense of the tissue itself. Okay. So I am going to go ahead and place my hand underneath your gown and you let me know at any point if you would like me to stop, okay? I will walk you through everything that I'm doing. Just going to reach in first, we'll come over to this side. Okay, perfect. Just gently move around. Helping the area for any signs of abnormality and breast tissue feels normal. It does not feel abnormally fibrous. There's no thickening of the tissue wall. Your ducts are not enlarged. Just gonna do some rotation of my fingers here, gently feeling around. Not noticing anything abnormal on this side. Go ahead and move on to this side. And I'm doing the same thing. Looking for any abnormalities in the tissue. Feel that feels normal. Okay. Then I'm just going to go down the middle along your chest wall here and palpate bilaterally for any abnormalities. Good. appears to be normal. So the last thing I'm going to do for your breast exam is just a very brief stimulation of the nipple. And the reason we do this is to check for any abnormalities in the ducts that lie beneath the nipple line. So I have a very cold object here. I will place it on your face just so you can see what it feels like. So it's going to be a very brief touch to the nipple. We're looking for a very specific reaction and then we'll pull away and that's the end of that part of the test, okay? On the count of three, I will go ahead and form one, two, three. Perfect. And on the other side, one, two, three. Perfect. Okay, so there is normal response to sensation in that area. Isabel, so everything was normal with your breast exam as well as the exam on your lymph nodes and your scalp. So if it's okay with you, we can go ahead and proceed with the vaginal exam. So I have several things set up here um, on my tray and I do just want to show them to you before we get started. So first I have a couple different sets of swabs. So we will be testing for a full STD panel since it is your annual wellness exam. So this first one here is for your pap smear itself. So you'll see we have a very little small bristly brush and this is going to go in and kind of scratch the surface and this is what tests you for cervical cancer. And then I have another set of swabs here and these are just your STD screening. So we have a couple different ones in here. These will test for chlamydia, gonorrhea, HIV, etc. And then this one here is just testing for any other abnormal bacteria that we may find. So it's just a small set of swabs. All of those will be sent off to the lab and we should have those results back within a couple of days. Mm -hmm. And then of course we have the speculum. So I do have a smaller speculum here and I do just wanna show you. It does light up to allow me a better visual inside the vaginal canal and it is manually movable so that I can change the size and depth. So we will be using this to open up the vaginal canal so that I can have a better look at your cervix, okay? Mm -hmm. 
All right, so I will have you flip around on the table for me with your bottom towards me, and then we'll proceed from there. All right, Isabel, now that I have you laying down, I am going to have you bend your knees for me. And once you do that, I'll have you slide down with your bottom coming just about the edge of the table. I'm gonna place a cloth underneath you. Perfect, you are great just like that. I will lift your feet for you and place them on top of the cloth. This is just to create a little mini sterile environment. Perfect, and I'm just gonna make sure that you are fully covered and comfortable. And I will just fold this back so that I have access to the area. Okay, are you feeling okay? You're comfortable, not feeling too exposed? Okay, perfect. All right, well, I have good visualization of the area. And what I'm gonna do to start is just have a look, just a visual examination. I'm gonna be taking the same light that I used on your face and head placing this below the thigh area so that I can get a better visualization of the area. So not only am I looking at the vagina itself, but I also want to look at the skin inside the thigh, looking for any signs of abnormality in the skin, any abnormal breakouts or anything that could indicate a skin issue there. Okay. Perfect. So I'm not seeing anything abnormal. Hair growth does appear to be normal and even throughout, so there's no signs of alopecia in the pubic region, which is good. I'm not seeing any signs of abnormal discoloration or swelling, which is great. Perfect. Okay, so what I would like to do now is just do some manual palpation around the area, okay? So you're going to feel both of my hands gently palpating the outside. I'm not entering anything inside yet. I'm just gently going to palpate around the mons pubis area, which is the top portion, as well as the labia, which would be the bottom sides, okay? Let me know if any of this causes you any discomfort. Good. Okay. So just feeling around the top portion. Feeling for any signs of abnormal lumps or bumps and going down feeling along the labia and just feeling both sides I'm not feeling anything abnormal here good are you still feeling okay mm -hmm. okay perfect okay I'm not noticing anything I think this feels okay all right, Isabel, so let's go ahead and go in with our first set of swabs. And in order to do that, I am going to insert the speculum. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the light. And I will be gently inserting it. It is already pre-lubed, so we should have an easy insertion. Once I insert it, you will feel me open the clamp, and that will hold it open so that I can access your cervix, okay? So I want you to let me know if this causes you any discomfort. And I am going to do a count of three before I place it inside. So you should feel me right now at the very base of your vaginal canal, okay? And on the count of three, I'm gonna go ahead and insert this inside slowly and I will let you know before I extend, okay? So going in, one, two, three. Perfect. You feeling okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I am going to slowly extend and you're gonna hear clicking sounds and that's just the sound of the speculum opening, okay? Perfect, okay. So I do have a good view of your cervix, and I apologize, I know that this can be uncomfortable. I'm just going to move it up and back. Perfect. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and open my first set of swabs. And as I stated, these two are just testing for any abnormal bacteria. They will be inserted together, so you should just fill one swab, and I will do kind of a circular rotation three times each side, okay? So going in with my swab, you shouldn't fill it too much since your cervix is open. Perfect. So 
I'm gonna set those on the tray and moving in to the next swab. And this is your pap smear itself. So this is testing you for cervical cancer. This one is going to be the most uncomfortable because it does have the bristles at the end. So I do apologize, it is a little bit scratchy, but it's important that we get a very good sample to ensure accurate results here, okay? Mm -hmm. So I am just gonna go and do your cervical cancer screening. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert this in. And we are all the way at the cervix, so just gently rotating. Perfect. Just making sure that we get a very thorough sample. Perfect, okay. So I will go ahead and set that aside. And lastly, we are going to do your STD screening. Just go ahead and open this up. And I have a couple different swabs here. And I will go ahead and show them to you. One of them is rather large and it kind of looks like a giant Q-tip. This is gonna test you for HIV. This one does need to go pretty far into your vaginal canal, but it shouldn't cause you any discomfort, okay? So just going in on the count of three. One, two, three. Perfect. Good. Okay. And setting that down on our tray. Okay. And lastly, going in with your gonorrhea chlamydia screen. This one is much smaller. It just looks like a much smaller Q-tip. Okay. Go ahead and insert that. Good, okay. Perfect, okay. All right, Isabel, we are all done with that. So I am gonna go ahead and pull out my speculum. So I'm gonna slide it out on the count of three. One, two, three. Perfect, okay, so we are all done. Let me just go ahead and turn off my light. And retract. Perfect, okay. So we are all done with this portion and give me just one second. I will grab you just a little cloth that you are welcome to clean up with. I will place this underneath you. We are all done with the vaginal portion of your examination. So I am just gonna go ahead and tuck this underneath your bottom and then I do just wanna have a quick look at your feet, okay? So if you'll lift up for me on the count of three, perfect. Okay, go ahead and relax, good. Okay, so I will have you bend your knees just slightly here. Great, good, okay. And since we're done with the vaginal exam, I'm gonna go ahead and cover you here, okay? And actually, if you're more comfortable, why don't I have you slide back on the hospital bed here so that your legs are fully extended and you're lying flat just normally on your back. Perfect. Is that comfortable for you? Mm -hmm. Okay, great. So I'm gonna go ahead and just remove your socks. Just wanna have a brief look at your feet. Your toes are a little cold. Cold. It's normal. It's pretty cold in here. Just gonna feel for your pulse. Good. Okay. okay. Having a look between the toes. I'm just gonna do a very brief examination of your feet. Make sure that there's no abnormalities with the skin. That there's no signs of broken skin or possible diabetes mellitus. Then look at the heel and overall integrity of your foot. You do have a very healthy arch, which is good. Okay. So I'm going to 
to look at the other foot as well. I'm just doing the same thing. Pulses are healthy. Good. You do appear to have a band-aid here. Do you have an injury on your foot? Just a scratch. A scratch, okay. No problem. Having a look in between your toes. As well as checking your capillary refill, which is normal. Blood flow returns within well under one second, which is good. And it appears to be even bilaterally. No signs of swelling or edema around the joints, the ankles appear to be well intact as well as the toes and skin integrity of the heels is fine very healthy arch on this side as well good so i'm just gonna do a very very brief sensory exam here can you tell me if you can feel this good do we end this Perfect. Good. Okay. Just making sure that there's no signs of sensation loss between the toes. Perfect. Okay. And then, good. Getting a normal reaction in those muscles. This might be a little more difficult to feel because the skin underneath your feet is thicker, but. Are you able to feel this at all? Mm -hmm. Good, okay. And it feels normal this side compared to this side, correct? Good, okay. So I'm just gonna do a quick palpation of the joint here. It's just people are cussing around the ankle. Is on the toes, just looking for a normal bend in the toes, which indicates a normal reaction and even mobility in the joint. Good. So the last thing I would like to do for this examination, Isabel, is perform what's called the Babinski reflex. So you have reflexes on the bottom of your feet, as does everyone else and they indicate normal neurological function. So ideally your foot should curl upon palpation of my tool. And if it doesn't, then we could be looking at a bigger issue here. So what I'm gonna do is just run this very cold tool along the bottom of your feet. And I want you to just react normally as your body allows you to, okay? Good. Perfect. Good. I'm getting a consensual response. I'm going to do this one more time, just holding the weight of your foot here. Perfect. Good. And as I'm sure you can tell, I am getting movement in both feet, which is what we are looking for. Lastly, you should be able to feel that this is a cold sensation. And does that feel the same coldness all the way down throughout? Good, as well as here. And it should feel the same coldness on the bottom as well. Perfect, okay. I will go ahead and put your socks back on. Isabel, well, we are good to go. I will step out, finish up my notes while I allow you to get dressed. You have the pad that you can use underneath you to clean up some of that excess lubricant. There are also wipes in the drawer if you need them, okay? So go ahead and get dressed and I will be back in to talk to you shortly. Thank you.